Now you have to take this into consideration when we talked about the words God and Lord. Okay, why is it that they appeared in the King James Version more than the NIV? This is a very, very important issue, okay? And sometimes is a very deceitful one uh, by the King James only camp because some people don't know this fact. Now, these are the facts, okay? The word God is inserted, okay, particularly in the book of Romans, okay, where it shouldn't have occurred, okay? For example... It says, God forbid. Should we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. The word theos is not in the Greek. So, just because the King James Version, and there's a lot of examples like that, peppered throughout the Bible, okay? Insurgents like that, okay? By the King James translators, by Lancelot Andrews and, and, and Chatterton and Smith and and Richard Bancroft, and uh, John Reynolds, and, and all the other, uh, you know, 48 or so uh, translators of the King James Version, they inserted the word God many times, okay, scars of times, and it was never in the original text, okay? Theos does not appear when the King James Version has God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, okay? You know, uh, did God cast away his people, you know, in chapter 11 of Romans? God forbid. It's not God forbid. Theos is not in the Greek. So that may account why there's a landslide with the King James Version, okay, when it mentions the word God so many times, and NIV does not mention it at the same number as the, as the King James Version. Now, the, the NIV committee said, listen, okay, we know that the version that we're working on is going to have God less, but should we copy the mistakes or the multiplication of times that, that uh, God is found in uh, their Bible, meaning the King James, just to appease or placate, uh, you know, the advocates of the camp? Absolutely not. Okay? And that goes for the same uh, for Elohim. Okay, which is a title for God. Okay, now let me mention the word Lord, okay, in the Hebrew, Adon. Okay, you have Adon and you have Adonai. Okay, now the word Adon, which is spelled out in English, A-D-O-N, okay, simply means, it can be translated Lord. I understand that. It absolutely can. But it also can be translated Sir and Master. We have to be very careful, okay, that we don't translate that word into Lord all the time, okay? So that is the explanation why, why does the King James Version have Lord and God more than the NIV? Now the King James only advocates can say, probably are going to say to me, but Angelo, you know, the King James Version has 64,000 more words than the NIV. And to that I say poppycock. Okay? Poppycock. I'm just trying to be nice, you know. Just because people added words, okay, to the original text, okay, doesn't make it right. And doesn't make the NIV wrong. That's another thing. Now, the other reason why the King James Version of the Bible has God and Lord and other words so many times more than the NIV or the NASB at times is because they're working from, they were working from late manuscripts, especially those that were based on the Byzantine text, which is a which is a later text than the Sinaiticus or uh, Vaticanus text. So that's the, the explanation of why we see things more in the King James Version is because they were working from late Greek editions, not even manuscripts, but editions of the Bible. Okay? So that's why you see, uh, you know, uh, words more in the King James than in, in uh, NIV or NASB. 
because the best manuscripts are those from the 4th century, like Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, period. That's just a fact. Let's look at the word love, one of the most important words in the Bible, okay? In the Greek, is agape, all right? So, well, let's look at that, all right? Now, of course, you have loving kindness and things like that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put that into consideration, okay, for the both concordances. So, it's fair for the both because I didn't put loving kindness, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now... The NIV, let's start with the King James Version first. The King James Version has love 310 times, okay? 310. Now, I didn't add loving kindness, but I didn't add loving kindness for the NIV. Now, remember, the King James Version has love 310 times. Just love, L-O-V-E. Now, the NIV has the word love. 551 times. Absolutely rocking the King James is 310 times. That's a very important word in the Bible. Okay? So you see that this is a seesaw happening here. It's not one-sided like the camp of the King James only uh, uh, ism. Okay? Uh, like they proclaim all the time. And I'm going to give you a shocking revelation at the end of the study. Okay? Now the word God is very interesting. Okay? It is found in the NIV, okay, 3,969 times. So virtually it's about 4,000 times that God is found in the NIV, okay. Now the King James uh, has God, but you have to take this into consideration. The concordance has a small g, O-D, apostrophe S, which is not God at all. Okay, and I don't know how many times that shows up in the list. But nevertheless, the King James mentioning of God or gods, okay, is 4,456 times. So that's more there in the King James. Now, the word heaven is very interesting, girls and boys. The NIV has heaven 422 times. Now, the King James beats it by having it 582 times. Okay, so it beats it there. Now this is going to be interesting uh, when 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 we when we uh, go to the word hell. I have to be very, very careful how I say that. Okay, now hell is mentioned in the NIV only fourteen times. Now it is mentioned in the King James fifty four times. Now this is the key though. This is why. Okay, this is very easy. This is easy. Okay, to understand. The reason why the King James Version has hell more times, 54 times actually, and it has it about 40 times more, is this key element. That's very important in Greek. There's two Greek words uh, that are translated into hell by the King James Version, okay? Hades and Gehenna. That is the only reason why hell is found more in the King James Version. Hades, okay, is not supposed to be translated hell, okay, all the time, okay? It's not supposed to be translated hell, okay? You're having hell being cast to hell in the King James, okay? Come on, that's ridiculous. How can you cast, cast hell into hell, all right? Well, you have to be very careful and not translate the two words into hell all the time. But that's what the King James Version did, translators, I should say. Now, in addition to the Greek New Testament, I need to speak about the Hebrew Old Testament, that the King James translators felt that they had to translate the Hebrew word sheol into hell. It simply means the grave, okay, at times, the grave. So they translated, okay, three words into hell at their own disposal, at their own choosing, you know, I just say. Sheol, the Hebrew word that's found in the, in the Jewish scriptures in the Old Testament, and two Greek words, Gehenna and Hades, they also translate it into hell. So they translated, you know, all of those words into hell, and that's why hell is found more in the King James than in the NIV. Very easy explanation. Now, let's go to another thing. Now, this is when the NIV wins. 
Let's start with the King James Version first. The King James Version has the word eternal 47 times. That's a very important word in the Bible. The NIV has eternal, okay, usually uh, the Greek word ionion, okay, in, in, at least in the, uh, in, the, in the New Testament anyway, in the Septuagint, the Greek Septuagint, okay. The NIV beats the 47 times that is mentioned in the King James Version. By mentioning, by, mentioning etern, by mentioning eternal 86 times. So the NIV mentions eternal 86 times. The King James Version uh, mentions eternal 47 times. So you see, it's almost 40 times more that the NIV mentions the word eternal, okay? More than the King James, okay? Now the word gospel is very interesting, Okay? Gospel is mentioned in the NIV 96 times. Very close to the King James's 101 times. That's a virtual day, okay? All right? So that's that's uh that's uh, almost like a recount in the election, okay? So the NIV mentions uh, gospel, okay? Euangelion, all right? Uh, 96 times, and the King James uh, has gospel 101 times, only five times more. That's nothing there. You know what I mean? Now, I would say that for either side. If, if one side has only a few times more, well, I mean, it's no big deal, you know. Now, remember that gospel, okay, simply means good report, good tidings, and good news. And sometimes the NIV will have that in the place for the word gospel. Because if you ask somebody in the street, what does the word gospel mean? They don't know. But if you ask them, if you ask them, right, what does a good report mean or good news? They'll know that. Remember that. Now let's look at the word election. That's just the pure word election okay just election now the NIV has election only three times in the Bible now the King James Version has only election surprisingly enough only six times in the Bible very close there as well okay very close very close now prayer the absolutely the King James rocks okay the NIV when it comes to prayer now Again, prayer means to ask. So I did not uh, see in the context if the NIV translated prayer into ask. Okay, because that's what it means anyway. Now remember, it tries to be modern. So I just want to be fair to the NIV uh, committee and people who use the NIV just like me. It, it could have uh, translated prayer into ask i don't know okay i don't know i didn't check that that's a lot of work okay you could you guys can check that out okay but anyway nevertheless when it comes to just pray the king james rocks it the niv by a count of 313 to the niv's 121 okay so i mean it rocks it there rocks it okay now check this out this is very close i mean some of these are very close the word wrath, W-R-A-T-H, is found in the NIV 197 times. That's 197. Now, the King James Version only, ha only has three more um, by mentioning it 200 times in the King James Version, okay? So, it's a virtual tie right there. I mean, three times more that, that wrath is found. We don't even know that those three times have to do with God. It could have been the wrath of man or the wrath of the king was kindled or something like that. A Nebuchadnezzar, who knows? But anyway, it's 200 to 197. The King James wins that. Now let's look at the word glory. The NIV has 295 times that glory is mentioned, okay? Now the King James Version has 402 times. So that's a lot more. A lot more. More than 100 times, okay? All right. So let's look at the word life. L-I-F-E. Very important word in the Bible. Now, uh, life, L-I-F-E. Which Bible has life more? Well, let's start with the King James Version. The King James Version has life 451 times. But the NIV has life 
580 times, actually 589 times, over 130 times more than the King James. Life is mentioned. Now that's amazing. Let me give you the count again. 